Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 3, Football Manager 19, a South American journeyman story. We are with our first club, Minnesota Football Club out of Venezuela. Uh, third division, I think, Tercera Division, the Venezuela Group H. Uh, wanted to give a shout out. Uh, let's see. Joe Hardy, welcome to the channel. Al Mikiso, I hope I got that right. Welcome to the channel. Okabi Rentaru, City Fan 1927. Uh, four new subscribers uh, in the last uh, 10 hours. That's probably my biggest single day of subscribers ever. So thank you very much. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, action four days ago. Yeah, I already got, I think I got action. Saw 1738. I do remember them, got them in my last video. So thank you for those of you that have joined the channel recently. Much appreciated and uh, look forward to uh, interacting and communicating with you guys. You know, put some comments in. Uh, always like to have that going on. Uh, anyway, don't forget to hit the like button. That helps more people find the videos if you like what I'm doing. It also is uh, your way of letting me know you like what I'm doing and that you want to see more of it. Uh, so catching up from last episode, uh, we played Amazonas and we beat them 7-4. to four. Seven goals. Hello. Uh, Raymundo Lunar with a brace. Roger Rondon with a brace. Uh, Antonio Ruiz, Eric Me Me Mejias, Martin Colomenares in stoppage time. Uh, Simir Bonascoro with a hat trick against us. Again, I will butcher the hell out of these names and you will like it because <laughs> it's going to happen anyway. Uh, then we had a 2-2 draw against El Pinal. Uh, a little disappointed there. Lunar with a goal, Becerra with a goal. Raphael Anaya got a late goal for them in the 83rd minute to equalize. We played Tashira FC B team. Uh, they are leading the league group H uh, division. We did beat them last time on camera. Uh, this time they did beat us 2-0. Not very competitive, but I was last episode right at the end. We kind of glanced at the rules trying to figure out what was going on. Still have no idea. So, as I said, we'll figure it out together as we move along. Uh, they cannot be promoted, so that's good news. So, we're playing for second place, and that's the position we want. Uh, then we beat El Nula 5-2. Lunar scored on a penalty. Uh, Col Colmenares with a brace. Kevin Morales and Antonio Ruiz, all with goals. And then against Academia Emeritans, 2-0. Uh, Lunar with a penalty in the 73rd minute and a goal from the up top in the 77th minute. So he's doing pretty well. Uh, we do have some moves to look at. We are uh, 14 games in. We're sitting on 30 points. Uh, Tashira FC is running away with it. 12 points clear. They have yet to have a draw, just the one loss to us. Uh, we have two losses, both to uh, Tashira, <laughs> strangely enough, and then uh, three draws. But we are 10 points clear of Amazonas for second position. So again, B teams in, under the rules of the Tessera division cannot get promoted. So they are, they're, you know, Evidently, that's a much bigger club's B-side, and they're just playing to get the playing time to move up to their senior squad. Uh, so they're permanently in this division. So we're the ones playing for promotion. So 10 points up on that. That's good. And today we are going to be playing uh, Amazonas and El Pinal. And then we'll come back, I think, for the Academia and Amazonas again. Uh, and then we'll figure out where we go after that. Uh, because I, I, there's got to be more, right? <laughs> I mean, there's got to be. Uh, so if we look at our uh, goal scoring, uh, Lunar has 14 goals in 14 appearances, one and one. You can't complain about that. Five assists. We've got five assists from Pineda, the left uh, defender. Four assists from the right defender, Andrade. 
and uh, they all have a couple of goals between them. Unfortunately, our grayed out guys are not keeping statistics, which is sad. I know Rondon has quite a few goals. Colmenares, we just saw him with a few goals. Becerra's had a few. Uh, so, you know, we've got some other guys that are scoring more than one, but they're not keeping track. Let's take a quick look at transfers. Uh, so let's see, this would be... This would be recently. All right, so, yeah, we're in July. So I had already signed Copeland and Morales. Those are guys that I had signed, I think. They were not joined. Yeah, we had signed Andrade, Pineda. Copeland and Morales were two guys I signed in the early days, but they didn't join until July 2nd. So Copeland came in on a free. Uh, he's got four and a half star potential. Uh, he's got two starts playing a 6.95. He's okay. He's a, he's a defensive mid. He's got decent tackling. Um, you know, hopefully he gets better. He is 25 years old. We just needed a player. You know, we needed players. Uh, Kevin Morales came also on a free. Uh, he is a right midfielder, right winger. Uh, Decent physicals. He's got some pace, five-star potential, uh, potentially. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, not you know, crossing is really good. So, you know, that's been really good. Passing, I wish was a lot better. Work rate, you know, nothing to get super excited about. But, you know, at this level, you know, and like I said, we needed warm bodies that were actually alive. So, I mentioned last episode, because I was having so many problems, we'll come back to this screen, and I was well over on the payroll. Well, we're much further over the payroll now, uh, because my GM evidently doesn't have to comply with regulations either, <laughs> or doesn't know how. I think there's there's some coding issues uh, in the when you're doing a GM, and I was just like, I can't find players. I can't get anybody to sign. I'm blowing the budget. Can't find anybody on non-contracts. Nobody was interested in signing those. So I said, I'm going to hire a GM. I, I got a GM hired, and I gave him all the controls. So right now, this is not only a journeyman stave. It's also a director of football challenge. <laughs> it's, it's morphed into that as well. Uh, it probably will not stay that way, but it will be for the time being just at these lower levels. It's just so hard to find players. So these are guys that he has brought in during the recent transfer window, which I think just closed. So we brought in uh, Paulo Barcelo from Oraceros de Calabozo. And uh, I put that little, you know, accent on it to make it sound sp Spanish. Maybe that's completely wrong. Four and a half star current ability, 30 year old Venezuelan. Uh, he's making 6.75 a year. Uh, defensive mid and a center defender. He's played two starts, two off the bench. Uh, he's still got pace, acceleration, decent physicals. Tackling's very good. Decent passing and marking. So I kind of like him in that defensive mid spot, but he can also at 6'2. Good jumping reach. Heading's poor. Uh, I think that's an issue I recall. I did look back. I uh, In my playlist, I do have a, a South American save Brazil, I think, back in FM 17. I, I was going back through my playlist the other day. Uh, so anyway, he's in. Uh, Orlando Alarcon. Aler from Atletico Ray. Uh, he is a keeper, so we actually have a real keeper now. Uh, he has started 14 games for us uh, since coming on board. You guys refresh my memory here, but wasn't shot stopping one of the things, or is that only... Uh... I don't know if, uh, but anyway, I thought shot stopping was something. Maybe that's under comparison, though. But uh, good reflexes, one-on-one's not good. 
kicking's not good handling's okay communication he uh he must have a cleft palate or something and and a lisp and uh he can't communicate at all uh, aerial reach that's good he's 511 but can jump through you know over the top of the you know crossbar uh so anyway we've got him uh that we brought on and david moreno from chico de, de guyana and he is a true central midfielder four and a half star ability not very you know not the paciest guy he is he's 20 years old very good decision making though i like that uh he also has great passing skills long shots first touch technique i'm looking forward to him being kind of a distributor of the ball uh carlos valderrama style uh you know playing in that midfield you know setting up the attack uh but he just joined us so he will probably make his debut today so anyway we have a few more players let's get into the matches uh, we are 1-1-0 one, one, and o against Amazonas. Uh, we are favored on the road. I love, you know, it's one thing about not playing in England. There's just no rain and no hail and no cold. And <laughs> it's pretty great. All right, we're going to play the entire team. So, you know, we're, we're up top, we're good. Right and left back, we're good. Now we're actually picking up the right side, we're okay. And the goal were okay. So uh, looking pretty solid. So let's see. Alarcon's going to make his debut. Uh, Mayus and Lucina. Are going, well, again, they don't keep stats because they're grayed out. Rodriguez. Barcelo. What's his deal? Returning to full fitness immediately. So he's just a fitness concern. Fitness test not required. All right, so we'll keep an eye on him. We'll probably sub him out. Uh, do we have any other players? Does not appear. Nope. All right, well, let's get to it. So at least we have a few more subs to pull from now. Unless it ditches those grayed out players. I'll have to go back and compare videos. Because I don't know. Pick up where you left off. Nobody cares. All right, we are in the yellow again. You know, much like last season with quite a few of the clubs that I managed, I really don't like the stripes. Cabello hauls that one in really nice. Poor cross it. Poor, poor entry pass attempt. Get creative. Pineda into Moreno. Back to Pineda. Crossed into the box. The header comes down and Barcelo puts it in. His first goal of the season. Good job. 1-0. Now, we were relegated last season. So, again, this is a mod that uh, 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 a third party did. Uh, posted it up on the, uh, on the website uh, at uh, Sports Interactive. So... Can't vouch for how accurate it is. Oh, we give up goals on these. Oh, into the wall. Blocked again. Barcelo on the break. Turn around. Run. Run. Give him an out. Oh. You got one, one man to beat, and he kills you. All right. Bayana, first yellow of the season. All right, Verlandia. Oh, get it out of there. Off the crossbar. Some woodwork action. Morales lumps it over. Bonacorso. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Just don't give him the free entry pass, please. I'm going to downsize that a little bit. And there. All right. Maheus. Lunar! Yes, number 15 on the season. Just puts it away. Nobody marked him on the back side of that wall. I love the soccer ball in the barbecue area. Big barbecue weekend coming up, in fact. So this will probably go up Friday. Uh, so 
our 4th of July Independence Day was yesterday, which is actually in three days. But when you see this, it'll be yesterday. <laughs> so let's see, 76. 243 years old as a country. Very young in the scheme of things. All right, we've uh, only managed four shots. Uh, no, nah, I'm going to keep going with that because we are favored. Pep talk. Yeah, we, we, we got to say something. Um, I'm pleased with your performance. Keep it going. Lucina, watch your step. I do that all the time. Anybody that's got a yellow card at halftime, I tell them to avoid another booking. And typically do not get second yellow cards. So... All right, uh, encourage Barcelo on the kickoff highlight. Now we do have a couple of guys already dragging, but tell you what, let's go ahead and sub them out early. So mid right, we'll pull Morales off and Barcelo mid center. Do I have another mid center? I do. Moreno, let's drop you back to there. And then AMC. We could play a striker up there. Let's play Bolivar up top. Well, in the number 10. Try to get those, those guys off. Let them rest up a little bit. All right. Morales lays it off to Barcelo. Turns it up. Crosses it over to Pineda. He brings it up towards the midline. A couple of quick touches. Copeland back to Rodriguez. Over to Moreno. Squared to Rodriguez. Up to Copeland. Cuts it inside. Plays it through. Moreno lays it off to Lunar. Lunar stopped. Barcelo with, puts in his second goal. That's a brace today. His debut, yeah, maybe? I don't remember. All right, there's our subs. We've got a 3-0 lead. Andrade. Colomineres. Up to Bolivar. Over to Copeland. Out wide to Colomineres again. Andrade with the overlap. Crossed over. A layout header. I don't know what that was all about. Ends up turning the ball over. Three on two, Bonacorso, uh, and he picks out the open man, Rojas. Crossed in, easy goal for Morales. Yeah, three on two, we were way out of position on that. And we collapsed into the center, and they picked out the one guy that was left open. Cola Menares. oh, there's a penalty. Lunar's going to take it. Come on, Lunar. Raimundo. Bottom right. Bottom right. Oh, he did go bottom right. Saved by the keeper. I jinxed him. I said it out loud. The keeper knew it was coming. Headed out. Bolivar. Squared into Moreno. Back out wide. Crossed in. Headed out. Lucerne. Bolivar. Rodriguez, see offsides? Yeah, maybe. I'm going to say he was offsides. It was close. Lumped in. Oh my God, just wide open. Nice defense, blockage. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. Still just the one yellow card. All right, Mejias up top. A header off the woodwork. Oh. That was brutal. Well, they didn't call that a woodwork? Damn. Martinez non. Ramos lumps it forward. Bonacorso. 
beat the back line. Boy, they looked bad there. I really wish we had one good center back. <laughs> Carrero. Back to Carrero. Squared into Ramos. Concentrate. Stolen by Copeland. Lumped forward. Lunar beats the back line. Oh, and he sails it. Oh, there was a block there. We'll take the corner. I wonder if that would have been on target or not. Looks like he towed it. Looks like he hit it with his toe. I think they teach you not to do that as a kid. I was taught not to do that as a kid. <laughs> All right, let's make a time-wasting sub. Um, mid left. You know what? Let's bring in a Panero for Lucina. Copeland off target. Looks like Nyon got the block there. Oh, no, I don't want to make another sub. I wanted to give him a shout. Tighten up. Frustrated. How dare he tell us how to play. Think they just get mad because I'm an American? Like, I don't know the sport? Oh, well. I actually know a good bit about the sport. We'll share that one day, maybe, if you guys care. 11 shots to 6, 58% possession, 3 to 1. I think that's uh, very good. You don't tell them nothing. I'm going to be passionate, very pleased, make everybody happy. All right. So that helps us out a good bit. Alarcon makes his debut. Marcelo, player of the match. You were superb. And somebody, Ortiz FC boss, was seen checking out Andrade. Who's this, who's this club? Oh, uh, they're in Group D. Ah, same division. Yeah, you need to you need to back off there, Javier Moreno. <laughs> All right, we will be back uh, 14, 14 days. Wow, are you kidding me? Yeah, wow, two weeks off. Well, that's good. Uh, our 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 only scorer, uh, Lunar, will get two weeks of rest so he can play the next match. So. Luckily, you don't have to wait two weeks. I'll see you back here in just a second. All right, we are back. We had a couple of training injuries here, but Pineda's going to be okay. Barcelo can play. He was new, and he just has to build up match sharpness. So let's get to today's game. Uh, the email said we were sure fire favorites, which is like the kiss of death, right? Uh, let's see. We're home. We're favored. There's actually some wind today. That's that's weird. All right. So do I want to go? No, I don't want to do that. I kind of like that's been the tactic I've been playing as a favorite. That's what I've been playing as an underdog. Uh, Alarcon, what's the deal? Oh, groin strain up to three weeks. Ow. Ow. Okay, that's not what I want. Pick without restriction. There we go. All right, so Lopez. Looks like Lopez is back in the saddle. That's too bad. All right, Lunar. Can I? Why don't we work on training you? Attacking mid support. Yes. That's what we want to do. Probably won't help him learn it, but that's okay. We have no faces on our team. That's so disappointing. Disappointing, I tell you. <laughs> Pick up where you left off. At least somebody was motivated. 
All right, kickoff highlight. So yeah, we're you know we're playing for second place here. Every three points we can get will be good. All right, Moreno up to Rodriguez. Oh, nice overlap to Pineda. Oh, Varela with the layout like Superman. And he caught it. That was impressive. For this level, damn, Skippy impressive. Just tell him to get creative. Varela lumps it out. Copeland pulls in the header from the back line. Rodriguez brings it up into some space. Brings it out to Pineda out wide. Oh, he is just wiped out by Tenio. Tenio Delaney. Tenio Delaney, something like that? I don't know. Rodriguez makes a nice run to the top of the box and then sails it. Wrong football, man. Three points in American football. Jack shit in football for the rest of the world. Morales into the box. Moreno controls it. Squared into Barcelo. Finds Copeland. He shoots. He finds the right post. Third goal of the season for Barcelo. Copeland with the assist. Good job. I hate that this doesn't stay right. Damn it. <laughs> oh, Mejias into the box. Oh, the keeper laid out. Looks like he fractured his head on the post. Push forward. Barcelo controls it. Splits the back line, lays it off to Rodriguez. I thought he had room there. Lunar Varela with another nice layout save. Good for him. Everybody's playing okay. Mejias. Oh, he puts it into the net. What a shot. 2 nothing, Minnesota. You know, I have no idea... Oh, just beat the keeper to the top. Pops the net. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, no. It's a set piece goal at the buzzer. Damn it. Oh, that was brutal. Lopez with a couple of blocks, but it just kept going right back at him. That's brutal. All right. Tell him not to. Ooh, Marcelo got stressed. Ding, ding. You know, it makes you wonder how you ever got along without cell phones, but then you sit there and go, man, we used to get so much more accomplished without cell phones because we were actually doing stuff instead of looking stuff up and I don't know. I think my, you know, Facebook now does this uh, time on screen or whatever. Or the phone, the phone actually does it. I think 14 hours last week. I mean, what would you do with an extra 14 hours a week? Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. All right. Uh, you know, Moreno. Let's bring on Becerra. Put another striker in that number 10. All right, Marcelo is a mid center. Let's 
Let's bring Rondone on. Play him out of position, but that's all right. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So I'm still getting used to the save. Usually it takes me a, a, a good season or two. Start getting, you know, my players in. Oh, oh, Lu Lucena. He just blasted that one into the top of the net. Very nice. Good job. So, you know, when I don't know a league, it's... Uh, you know, it makes it a little tougher. I'm going to give him some freeze. And what do we got? Panero, Colmenares. Let's bring Panero in. They're both playing nice. Let's give Nate Mejias a little bit of a break. Lunar. Oh, into the wall. Damn it. All right, Varela plays it deep. Copeland. Yeah, any of you guys uh, over in England uh, that watched the uh, Major League Baseball games this past weekend between uh, the Red Sox and the Yankees, that ain't normal. <laughs> it's not, you know, baseball is very much like soccer most of the time very low scoring affairs you know um not as much now as they were back in say the 70s and 80s you know when they did away with you know the running the bases and you know sacrificing over and things of that nature uh, we need some concentrate now um but you know they scored oh, geez i don't know oh my god oh Two late goals, one in stoppage time. All of these goals that we're giving up on set pieces. Look at that. I mean, none of our guys are back. Shit. Show some passion. Pineda, Copeland. Lumped forward. Oh, Lunar. Oh. Last chance here. Morales. Kick the fucking ball, man. Man, Morales made a couple of nice saves today. We had a couple of close opportunities. All right, lumped forward. Lunar can't get there. Oh. Yeah. No, oh, that's going to cost us two points. Shit. Lumped in. Copeland. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Get the ball. Get the ball. <laughs> Shit. Oh, the ref was running off the field. You saw that? What kind of fans you guys got in South America that the ref has to run off the field? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some crazy shit happen to referees in, in international football, let me tell you. Uh, hand over to assistant. Uh, yep, yeah, disappointing. Uh, where's my defense? Assertive. I was not happy with your defensive work. Just wasn't. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Ooh. Andrade signs a one-year extension worth $10,000. Good. He started 15 matches, playing a seven rating. One goal, four assists, two yellow cards. He was the player that uh, that other team in group uh, D or whatever was interested in. All right, so we are 11 points up, 11 points down. But remember, second place is all we need. Uh, we cannot, the B team cannot get promoted. So we are 
in line for playoffs or whatever comes next. So we will come back for the season. I tell you what, let's come back for let's come back for Amazonas, the the season finale or the schedule finale. Then either that's going to end the season and we'll move to next season. End of story. Or we move into something else. I know there's some, you know, we're promoted into something else. And we have a new schedule that comes out for October, November, December, January. I don't know. But that's what I want to find out. Um, events, calendar. Okay, so yeah, we have we have a playoff. Okay, so God, that's a lot of playoff games. Holy shit! Promotion playoff, grand final, promotion playoff, grand final. Transfer window opens. Oh dear God! All right, well yeah, so. Let's do that. We'll come back for the season finale, Amazonas. Well, you know what? No. Well, I'll come back for that if for some reason we lose all three games and they uh, Amazonas wins all three games because that's who we're fighting with. If we have it in the bag, I'm not going to worry about it. If second place is on the line, we'll be back for that. Otherwise, we'll come back for the playoff and get into the good stuff so pound the like button subscribe if you don't mind and we will see you guys next episode here at minnesota fc take care bye